Hey what's up guys welcome back you are watching for take so finally android 13 based raw official pixel experience and pixel experience plus has been released by the inferno and the team pixel experience is the pure google pixel device stock based rom with the performance and stability with addition of some useful features in the pixel experience plus edition but this time custom roms that are releasing are based on the oxonus 13 so we need to be on the oxonus 13 on the both a and b slots of your device Flashing is most important part in this video, so follow the video as it is carefully for the flashing of the ROM. I have also given the return link under the video description. You can use that to flash the ROM. I am already on the Oxonus 13. Like me, if you are already on the Oxonus F13, then you have to download the single Oxonus 13 OTA file and some other files like copy partition zip, DTBO vendor underscore boot image and boot image. Place these files in the platform tools of the C drive or on the desktop of your PC. But if you are on the Oxonus 12, then you need to first flash the Oxonus F13 fastboot ROM via fastboot method and then proceed to the instruction shown in this video. So today in this video, we will see how to flash this ROM, what's working as this is the first Android 13 based rebuild of Pixel Experience, its performance and stability test, what's new gets in this ROM. Finally, I discuss some bugs and the issues, so watch the video till the end. Now, without further ado, let's get started. Before flashing, first step we need to do is to flash the Oxonus 13 F13 full OTA package two times. If you are already on the Oxonus 13 still, you need to follow these steps. Download the full OTA package of 5GB and place it in the root of storage. Now go to the about phone and OTA updater of the stock setting. There tap 3 dot menu, select the local install and locate your update package. System will verify it and tells you this is the Android 13 version F13 update. Tap on extract, then tap on install update after flashing. Phone reboots to the Oxonus 13. Now again go to the same setting and flash the update package once again. Now power up the device and by long pressing the volume down plus power button boot your phone into the fastboot mode. Now go to the folder where you place all the downloaded files. There open CMD window by long pressing shift key of keyboard plus right click of your mouse. Select open command prompt here from the drop down menu. Now in the CMD type fastboot devices, now type fastboot flash boot and drag the boot image file in the CMD, then tap enter. Once flashing gets done, now type next command fastboot vendor underscore boot and drag the vendor boot file in the CMD. Next flash the DTBO by using the command fastboot flash DTBO and drag the DTBO file in the CMD and then tap enter. Once all the things done, take phone in your hand and select recovery option in the fast boot using volume keys and select it using the power button. Phone will boot to the Pixel Experience recovery. In the recovery, tap apply update and select ADB side load. Keep phone connected to the PC. Now in the same CMD type ADB side load and drag the copy partition zip file in the CMD and hit enter. You will see such flashing screen on the phone. Once done, you get the 1x4 notification in the CMD. Now in the recovery, go back to the main screen and once again tap apply update. In the CMD type ADB side load and drag the full ROM zip file and hit enter. If you get the installation aborted or any other error, then in the recovery, go back to the main screen, tap add once, select reboot back to the recovery. Once again, tap apply update and select ADB side load. Now type ADB side load and drag the ROM zip file in a CMD. Now flashing should start. Once done, you will get the 1x4 notification in the CMD. Now tap factory set in the recovery and select format data and then tap reboot to the system. Finally, phone started to boot into the amazing boot animation of Pixel Experience Plus Edition ROM. Go through the complete setup process. After installing this ROM, you will feel now you are using the Google Pixel device. Now let's jump to the about phone to check the details of the new custom ROM. So this is the first Android 13 based Pixel S Prince ROM which has same Android 13 easter egg. Security patches of January 2023. Kanna version is 5.4.219. Build date of ROM is 18 January 2023. There is already OTA of 23rd January available which has some fixes that I will tell you while reviewing the ROM. Now it's time to test the performance of the ROM. As I already told you, this is the pure pixel device source based ROM, so you will get the amazing performance. 
whole ROM will run on the 120Hz refresh rate, but for some applications like camera, it goes down to the 60Hz. Still, fluidity of ROM is amazing. Scrolling, switching between the application is just dope. When I ran the Geekbench test for the CPU, I got the score of 1088 and 3213 for the multi-core and single-core respectively. Results are nearly same as other Oxonus 12 s Android 13 ROMs. Next, I did the Hulkan Graphics API test where I got the score of 4214. This score slightly differ between the other custom ROM, but it's nearly same. So I can say this ROM is a pure powerhouse of performance which is utilizing every course of the Snapdragon 888. Next, I did the CPU stability test at the higher temperature using the CPU throttling application. Before running the application, I checked the CPU temperature and it was ranging between 37 to 40 degrees Celsius. I ran the test on the 20 threads and for 8 minutes, which is the maximum time till the date I used for this test. In whole test, I didn't got any red or yellow line. I got maximum 90% of CPU throttling, which is very good score even though we ran the test for more time than usual. So it's confirmed that ROM implemented with the brighter CPU governors which are maintaining the CPU temperature and avoids higher CPU throttling when you run the device with the heavy task. Now let's check out what's working in this ROM as this is the first Oxonus 13 based Android 13 ROM. I tested Wi-Fi, Wi-Fi hotspot, NFC, GPS location, Bluetooth connection with the HD audio codex, auto brightness, one plus alert slider, all are working without any issues. Under display fingerprint and face unlock both are working. They are blazing fast and accurate. VOLT incoming and outgoing calls along with the 5G networks are working. Call recording function is available in the dialer and you will find the call records under the call lock section. Google Photos unlimited backup is working. Hey Google for the off screen and the on screen mode both are working well. Next, I did the sensor test like the accelerometer, light, proximity, magnetometer, compass, gyroscope, all are working fine. Some other important features like the ear speakers, ear proximity, microphone, multi-touch and display. All these are working without any issues. Actually, microphone has some issues, but it is fixed in the new 23rd January update. ROM storage is encrypted, so no worry about personal data even if your device got stolen or lost. Next important part is the camera. ROM comes with the Lineage OS Apache camera application, which is pretty basic camera application without any features. It doesn't have the 4K video recording working, which is actually working for the older builds. So I recommend you to install the Gcam MGC build. Surprisingly, most of the things are working in this camera now. Like the night side, portrait mode for the both the front and back camera. Actually, portrait mode pictures are now a lot improved. Like the front selfie camera, it's blurring the background subject properly without main object. ROM has the default 3x and 1.5x zoom setting. For the photos, you get the lots of advanced settings like HDR plus mode, face retouching and all working fine. For the video recording, you get the three wide angle camera modes like the 1x, 0.9x, 0.6x, but the 0.9 seems broken, it's not working. Slow motion video recording is working fine without any issues. Time lapse video recording is also working without any issues. There are different modes like the panorama and photosphere, but only panorama mode is working while photosphere mode is broken. Amazing part is that 4K 60fps is working without any issues. So most of the things are working fine and I can say this is the almost stable build to use. It has lots of the tunables in the settings of the application. So we discussed what major features are working. Now we'll see what are the features available in this ROM. As ROM is based on the Pixel device's stock ROM, it has very few but only important customizations are available in the plus edition of the ROM. ROM comes with the Pixel launcher with all the goodies of wallpaper and style application like 5 recent wallpaper selection on the home screen with the theme rack ones for the dock in the wallpaper and style setting. Multiple ascent colors to choose from the bunch of the colors are available. All the pixel wallpapers are implemented in the wallpaper and style application. Recent applications has the overview selection with the quick share for the web URLs and the images. In the display setting we case the live display setting which has the display modes, reading mode, color calibration, picture adjustment etc. Ambient EQ is the another unique feature which adjusts the display brightness of the ambient display as per the surrounding light level. We get the smooth display toggle to adjust the screen refresh rate at the higher levels. Double tap to wake and sleep is another setting which is working fine. 
high touch polling rate is another unique setting which helps to improve the touch sensitivity of the display. Other customizations who got under the system setting, here you guess the old gesture bar customizations, 100 mode press and hold power button, swipe to screenshot, quick touch, touch screen gestures, etc. In the buttons option, you guess the edge long swipe action, who can set the different activities to long swipe gesture. Who gets the volume rocker device wake up setting? Additional alert slider customization options are available here. Other old traditional status bar customizations are available in the separate tab. Under system update, who gets the OT updater and it's working very good. As I'm on the old build of 18 January, I got the new 23rd January build update with its change log. Who can directly download and tap install, rest updater will flash the build automatically without doing anything. These are all the things we discussed and now it's time to see some bugs. ROM is not passing safety net, it's getting failed. So it's a major issue because we can't able to run the banking and secure application without the safety net. I can't confirm is it the issue persisting on 23rd January build because I did this check on the 18th January build. Wide one is on L3 like other ROMs so we can't run the Netflix and the Amazon Prime like a streaming application at the full HD resolution. Except this bug, everything is fine, no issues at all. In overall experience, ROM is pretty stable, fast with the great user interface similar to the Pixel devices without any boatware. So I definitely recommend you to try this build at least once in the life on your OnePlus 9 RT. So that's it for today guys. If you think this video helped you, then please do like, share, subscribe and press the bell icon for the notifications of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Take care. Bye-bye.